Who's, who's going to start? You guys have no, it's going to be him, man. <laughs> I'm very nervous when it comes to the camera, so I think he's going to start. Okay, then ready. Let's get the camera over and ready. All right, ready. And action. My name is uh, Karim Davis Dib. This is my brother and colleague, Walid Daniel Dib. We're both uh, engineers, so we come from a family of engineers. For five years, I worked as an engineer, and he started off his career as an engineer, but uh, moved to insurance yeah, shortly afterwards. Uh, so I, I came across insurance completely by accident, but I think everybody does. From there, I noticed that a lot of the processes within insurance were pretty manual. So what we did next was, I mean, we were always obsessed with blockchain since 2012. And what we did next was we thought, listen, there's a lot of trust issues in the insurance ecosystem and a lot of fragmented processes as well. So we wanted to stick blockchain and insurance and make an automation of both, kind of have a digitized ecosystem happen from there. So that's really what we did. We started Addenda in March last year as it was just a concept yeah. that was going through our heads. We then applied to Fintech Hive in uh, June, but we decided it doesn't matter whether we get accepted or not, we're gonna quit our jobs in July. Yeah. Luckily, we got accepted, burned the boats behind us, we got accepted. Well, he was already living in Dubai, but I moved uh, here in September, and now we're living five minutes away from the DIFC. So, so we even moved our house to outside the DIFC. Yeah. We were not registered yet, so when we joined the program, but through the program, they had clinics where they help you set up. So they give you uh, meetings with the DIFC um, government officials where they help identify what kind of license you should get and if you are to be regulated or not. So luckily, we are non-regulated. We're strictly a IT service provider. So getting the license was not a headache for us. They, they supported us and I think within a couple of weeks, we had our license and we were good to go. In reality, the whole thing from, from start to end to getting our license and back took no longer than a month, a month and a half. From the moment we started and set up here in, in DFC in the FinTech Hive, we started off with simply a concept. So we had an idea of what we want to do. We're both obsessed with blockchain technology, so that's the basis of, of our company and that's the technology that we're using. We had an idea of what use case we want to use and what, what challenge we want to resolve in the insurance industry. But the real value that we got from the FinTech Hive program is validating the use case that we had by introducing us to the big players in the market, C-suite executives, management of these companies, and truly validating our use case and giving us their exact pain points. So rather than spending months and months or years doing the business development, validation, we got that in three months. Cool thing is, our solution put aside, these mentors from the FinTech Hive actually stayed our mentors after. So these are people who are now waiting on a weekly basis, sometimes every couple of weeks, for coffee, for, for lunch, and they love nothing more than to be helpful, which is strange to me because insurance in general is a very difficult industry to crack. And it just shows you that the people at the top are very interested in innovation and doing that stuff. We really made use of the program. Yeah. There was also a legal clinic in, in the program where like five law firms were helping us out. And what we did was, because we knew we had them for three months, we asked them every single legal question we could and we got the benefit of that from Fintech Hive for free. So these are companies that charge like $1,000 an hour. Mm. We did check out a lot of other uh, Fintech programs. Some of them were private, some of them were governmental. So what really drew us to come to the Fintech Hive is that it's backed by the government itself, by DIFC. The program doesn't take any equity. They're doing it mainly to attract innovators to the region. So mm. for me, that's a major added value. They want to give, give without expecting anything in return. The only thing they expect is for you to provide a solution that improves the industry of UAE. With regards to mentorship, what we've learned was it's not just from people who are banks and insurance companies and whatnot. People around us in the Hive, other startups from years before us, they were the ones that helped us the most, actually. Yeah. They told us, this is how you do a safe agreement. This is how you talk to an investor. This is what you do when you go pitch uh, an idea to a potential client. And that really helps you because you see where they went wrong and then you can do good at that part. In late December, that was the day Fintech Hive had our large investor day and about 300 people joined and we announced there that we're raising $600,000. Uh, by then we had already raised a portion of that. So we are now at 200,000 out of 600. We're about to sign another 100 and we hope to close our round by uh, end of May. Our concept has been validated via the mentorship program, via DIFC's brand. Hopefully when that happens, we're gonna go and expand to uh, Saudi, Jordan, Kuwait, Bahrain, because luckily for us, the way these insurance companies work, especially for motor insurance, is very similar to the UAE here. 
we think, we hope to move to the new hive next month. Our team has expanded. We were just two, two guys and now we're five and we'll obviously need the office space to do that. The cool thing about the new hive is there's a huge open area where anybody can just come and ask yeah. questions and see what is happening here, which I think is really cool because you're moving away from the typical office, corporate kind of cubicle ecosystem to a more open, and creative vibe that helps not only the startups, but people who are passing by and wanting to know more. There's a public area as well as a private area. The public area is open for anyone. The reason we've picked Dubai specifically is because not only is it awesome to live in, but also the ease of starting out in Dubai would have been very complicated elsewhere. Uh, we would have not been able to do it as fast in other parts of the region. If I were to describe DIFC in one word, I would say fun. The IFC is fun, but if I were to describe it in a better word, I'd say... Motiv motivational is the word. Motivational, that's yeah. the more professional word I'm looking for.